So that's a bit awkward. Turns out I wasn't filming at all that entire time. <laughs> Basically, you didn't miss much. All I was saying is, I'm the type of guy that watches runners on YouTube. I figured, hey, this is something I love doing. Out here running all the time, so why not film one of my long runs? So today, I thought I'd practice doing one of these running vlogs. I'm out to do about 23 Ks in the beautiful Western Queensland, Longreach, Outback area. First things first, leave town, run in the common. The pace for today, conversation pace, so I figured I have no excuse not to talk to a camera now and then. <laughs> uh, about 4.40 to five minutes per kilometer. Stop that over there, All right, I'm getting sore. Harder than it looks, it turns out. <laughs> and uh, this right here is a famous wind tunnel. I always find myself running into it at crunch time, so subtitles will be available below. <laughs> Let's get to it. But this right here is where the, the run gets fun as we leave the metropolitan capital of the outback, Longreach. into the common, which is where I pretty much spend most of my days. Now there's some drawbacks to running in the west. It's flat, flat as a tack, which means I'm missing out on a whole element of training. And uh, I am in training at the moment for a marathon. I'm gonna do sub three hours. A series coming out about it actually. First video I've finished, but not uploaded. Pretty proud of it, but anyway, bit of a plug dead flat and you'll see that from my run. We'll run 23 kilometers all around and uh, watch out this could be the the biggest hill right here. So might stop filming for a sec or at least stop talking while I try and overcome this one. <sighs> all right and there we are. That's about the elevation I get here on these runs. But the views are beautiful. They may be flat, maybe a bit dry at the moment, but I mean, I'm from the coast, so stuff like this, you don't get to see every day. And it's been about six months for me and the novelty still hasn't worn off. Anyway, back to it. Oh, second K, four minutes 30. Way above pace so far. A bit too excited. I might slow down and do a couple of kilometers over five minute Ks. Check back in. up ahead. Another cute little fella. Never get sick of seeing him hop or bounce, whatever the uh, scientific word for it is. It's especially nice as we just hit kilometer seven. How about that for timing? It's especially nice when I'm out running and um, emus or kangaroos, they'll sort of hop parallel to you. Parallel? Yeah, parallel to you. You know, for hundreds of meters. I would say kilometers, but that's a bit of a stretch until I can prove it. Um, I should say I've just found a nice spot in my pacing, somewhere around 450 to five. So I can take a few more kilometers off if I want to bring that average back to 440 to five kilometers, minutes per kilometer for this little long run. Yeah. As we carry on, scenery's changed a bit. Hope you appreciate it. <laughs> beautiful, beautiful. And a lovely breeze just as my tailwind at the moment, which I never really take a chance to appreciate because it always feels like a headwind. But sometimes it's a tailwind and that's nice.
trickier running underfoot here. A bit uneven, a bit unsteady, but uh, overall it's pretty good. All right, so it looks like we're about to enter a different style of environment after a few kilometers in that kind of flat uh, open area. I think this leads into where we're getting closer to the Thompson River, the mighty, mighty Thompson. So there tends to be a bit more tree life, shrubberies, bushes, all that kind of stuff. Also, a few more big hilly sections. Oh, look at this one up ahead, holy moly. Wish me luck, eh? I normally walk the big hills like that, but because I've got you with me, I'm gonna show off a little bit. Four minutes 40 for that kilometer. Pretty good, pretty good. Right in the sweet spot still. But yeah. You can see there's a bit more life around here now. Hopefully I'll be able to show you some of the weirs in other parts of the Thompson on this run. Maybe I'll come out here on another run. We shall see. But I'm uh, well and truly over halfway now, so may not be traveling that much further from town. Might start heading back in soon. Looks like we're coming up to our uh, first look at the mighty Thompson River in all of its glory here. So I might just take a quick detour to show you one of the uh, one of the sites I particularly like as we enter a uh, greener, sort of more lively looking location. Camping spot right there. People camp along here all the time. Here we go. I'm a bit above pace so I can afford to stop and stand still for a second. Look at that. The roaring Thompson River. Woo! Tell you what, wouldn't want to go swimming in there without a lifeguard. Wild stuff, wild stuff indeed. But now, my run will uh, pretty much follow the river all the way to the highway and then depending on how much further I've got to go I'll sort of sit out from there but most likely I'll get to the highway and sort of just follow it back home and that'll be the end of my first Outback Long Run, vlo long run Vlog. Yeah, nice. Coming up on the highway, crossing under the bridge here, and then hitting the old highway, which is now a running track and bicycle track, for the last little bit home. Don't know if you can hear me, there's a road train shoots on through, no cows on board this one. Here it is, there we go. 4.43, beauty. So hit stop on that one there, save it. Solid hour and 50 minutes running. <sighs> Gotta love that. Don't know what all this means, aerobic 2.9, probably amazing. 21 hours recovery, be a bit more than that, tomorrow's my rest day. And here we are, the breakdown. I might show you my Strava as well. But here's what the watch reckons. Oh man, beautiful. Another great Outback long run in the books. First of many. So stick around for weekly running updates from yours truly. It's been a pleasure, keep running. Catch you later.